Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you my tutorial and guide for Heroic Challenge of Hushwood. I'm gonna go ahead and build up my towers first, um, my initial towers, and then go into a little bit of the explanation a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and get this started so that this video is not too long and hopefully you guys will have some fun and enjoy this. Now, initial layout here, two militia towers to help um, with some of the crowd control that you will obviously need. Wolves are always a crowd control issue, but once you get your uh, your dwarven tower or your ballista tower up, um, it should be pretty easy. Now, one thing, I am going to try to minimize the number of times I use fireball, but then again, I um, then again, I am doing this as a little bit of a tutorial, so um, use it use it as more of a crowd control method. Now would probably be a good time to use it, um, but then again, these towers are just so gosh darn large already that they deal um, pretty much um, most of the damage that I need. Now let's get some cluster bombs in there. You can see how much damage this is all doing. And I can probably call in, oh, let's call in the fireball, call in a new wave, and then call in the new wave again. Oh, come on. All right, so I shaved 10 seconds off there. Now, in comes these guys here. Um, this initial wave is not going to be much of a problem. And I also want to start upgrading this guy. Um, the marksman tower here, which it will be an eventual marksman tower, is so that I can use a sharpshooter along the large guys that come in across the center. Now... We'll see what will be happening here. Um, apparently, the big guys are already launching gigantic waves of attack against all of these um, poor, poor soldiers. The soldiers, however, are doing their job in slowing them down and just simply delaying. That's all you really need them to do. You just need them to delay. And now I, now that I have an anti-armor sorcerer tower here, um, this should be pretty much a walk in the park trying to clear all of these guys out. All right, so... See. Yeah, you're going to see um, pretty much all this going to get cleared out here in just a moment. Um, more attacks coming in. Let's go ahead and call in a fireball. Oh, wait, I should have called in it there. Uh, I keep on always messing things up. All right. Okay, Wolf Warg. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy up to a, um, up to a much larger tower as well. And I think I can call it in early. Hopefully I did not just kill myself. If I... Well, you guys are watching this video, so... What would be the point of me making a tutorial video if I actually failed the video? Alright, so here we go. Um, majority of the guys... Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Summon more, summon more, summon more, summon more, summon more. Okay. So, okay, so far I am okay. Now this does need to upgrade here. Let me go ahead and clear out some of these um, initial guys. Get in another sniper shot so I can actually take down this big guy uh, much more easily. Now this guy, the problem with this guy is that he actually has an AOE swipe attack that does a whole bunch of damage. Um, the damage is actually very high on him, so that does start to cause problems. What you need to do is you need to make sure that he doesn't get to your foot soldiers. If he does get to your foot soldiers, what ends up happening is that he swipes them down so quickly that then the wolves are able to slip by. So that's why I'm up also upgrading these guys here so that they're, they are a little bit beefier and can really handle the problem here. Now, so far, carpet bombing. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's get into more upgrades. Um, it should still be quite enough. You can still see that the militia are hanging around in the back. Um, shots are still coming in. More more fire raining in from behind. Nothing sneaks by. Oh, 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 oh. Things. Oh. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit, I, I guess, as exciting as a game of Kingdom Rush can be. All right. Now, um, normally I put a mage tower down here to handle that guy on the bottom. We'll see how um, how he works in just a moment. Um, I'm trying to really concentrate the defense uh, back over here a little bit more. And we'll see what's going to be happening here. So let's uh, move that there and concentrate fireball. Come on here. Yeah, okay. Let's clear out that guy. And then we can move this guy back over here after he cleared out. So if you guys didn't notice what I did, um, I actually moved my militia forward so that he could walk by and then moved him 
um, and then move my militia back after I was within fireball position. So things should be in a little bit of a better position for me now. Uh, but then again, he will be coming around the corner in just a moment. Yep, that guy is back and going to cause me a little bit more problems. Okay, let's go ahead and get the, the cluster or the dragon breath launcher here. Now, if I can handle this wave, oh yeah, perfect timing on that cluster to clear out a lot of that, a lot of the issues there. Now, things will just be coming straight up the center here. I'm going to be putting in another uh, Dwarven Tower here to handle a lot of the problems. Um, cluster, cluster, okay, don't really need that cluster. He's going to be doing a little bit of slowdown here. Both of these guys attacking, slowing down. Um, I, can, I can start launching. So let's see where these guys are all going to be going. Oh uh, yeah, headshot. Yay. All right. So what I'm really trying to do is I'm just trying to reinforce this area here. Slow down the guys as they're coming. Also putting in the militia just a little bit closer so that they're actually dealing damage. Trying to also constantly get cooldowns here. And I am currently on wave 5 over 6. So just to get... Almost, uh, almost, almost, almost clear of this section now. All right, so nice attack there. Um, now I got another cluster guy there, and now upgrade. Is it gonna? Yeah, headshot, headshot. Okay, another cluster. You're gonna see all this damage being dealt across the board, and in the center, um, more damage still being dealt. Okay, there we go. And now in comes a, a bunch of ho a whole bunch of guys who are pretty magic immune, but then I got that already. Now, the next wave. Um, next wave, let's see what's going to be happening here. Oh, I should have put this down here to help control both sides. Now, I am going to be upgrading another Sorcerer Tower here um, because guys will be coming around the top side in the later round. So because they're going to be coming around that top side, I want to help control that a little bit as well. Oh, why don't you attack there? All right, so... Um, just gonna get that set up there, and now, all right, so, okay, so let's, okay, I should be able to clear that out with little to no effort, there, there, okay, my king is gonna, is he gonna, yes, okay. Oh, slow them down, slow them down, slow them down, slow them down. All right. Okay, so... Oh, good gosh. Upgrade, upgrade. Okay, summon here. Okay, yeah, now this is where things get a little bit craziness. Okay, oh, I didn't upgrade that tower fully. Okay, let's go there, let's go there. Um, hmm. Let's go paladin. And I think I should be clear now. Um, I actually think I should be in a, in a very good position now. If I can get the Paladins and get their AoE attack, um, it should be able to help make sure that no more Wolves slip by along the bottom. And that is pretty much the heroic challenge. There. Oh, nope. Hey, I thought I was done and a couple of wives, Wolves were... <laughs> wives? A couple of Wolves are hiding in the forest. Honey. I'm only married to you. There's no wives hiding in the forest. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.